Hello everyone, this is Ankur Gupta and in this video I will be taking you through a common question which I have been hearing with my viewers that the whether the two different orientations that is the portrait or landscape works both of them in one particular report or will there be some error or how to show our data some portion of the data in the report in horizontal manner and some in the vertical or the normal portrait manner so I will take you through a process a simple quite simple process this is one way and you could obviously have several different ways but this is the very basic process through which I will take you and I will make sure that things are kept pretty low and I will be uh, using a Mac system and I am for the demonstration purpose I will be using iReport and for SQL I will be using SQL Workbench and I will also show you, show you the report on Jasper server as well so that you have a clear idea how can things be done so let's hop on to the demo and as I said I will be using iReport, Jasper server and SQL Workbench for the demonstration purposes if you have any questions later on then you could add on in the comment section so proceeding to the demo so so this is my report let me just maximize it so I have a demo data basically so what I have done is I'm showing the marital status of the different marital status which have been given inside a organization and I'm listing all the employees in a horizontal or a list manner as we can see as you see in sev several forms and all so for this I have what I've done is this is my main report and in main report I'm just fetching let me show you the structure first so this is the table basically uh, so as we can see there is a column called marital status this one so we have single married divorce common law these four categories and they, accordingly they have different details of the employee so for for the first main report I'm just getting distinct marital status from person that is my table name so I will be getting just four records that are placed in the uh, that means we will have four repetitions of this detail band so in in case of this red marital status we will be having four different marital status as we see over here okay so in the sub report what I have done let me show you the sub report here comes the part which is landscape part so let me show what the query I have done I'm just selecting the name of the person I have just required the person name and here in the marital status I'm taking from the main report as I need to link up both of the two reports so that they are in sync so marital status will be equivalent suppose for example I have shown you the with married if married row what it will show Married will show all these employees like Blossom, Armin, Moses, Karina and so on. This will show you this particular number of employees. And this is the query for the sub report. So let me just take you through the things which I have done in sub report. So you can see that the query I have been using is similar kind of it. Instead of select star, you could just I could just do a name as it just name names so I will just have names from the person table where the marital status is the parameter that is passed from the main report okay so moving on what I have done is let me show you the properties if I go to the this report now what I have done here is there is a columns section I have mentioned number of column as 14 and you can see these or replications over here I will zoom a bit you can see here 
these are the copy of these this particular column so there would be 13 more copies like there is one as in the name which we see and 13 more copies are there in this line so it divides the report in instead of printing printing in vertical manner it will print in horizontal manner and in the column one thing more we could also give column space column space will uh, help you like I give two suppose there will be a gap of two in between the columns so that's basically on your need and the print order here should be horizontal which will allow the rows to come as in columns or, or co uh, comma separated values as we could see for comma separation I have just added a comma at the end so that's pretty easy to be done so now this is my complete report over here let me just show you in Jasper server so you just need to pass here what I've done is I need to pass here the parameter and the properties I've just passed the parameter one parameter defined I have passed the field value of marital status into the marital status parameter that's it what I have done over here it's pretty simple and just a very simple layout of report here just for you people to understand so now moving on to the final look of this rep this particular report so this is my Jasper server I will just refresh it Sorry. the default credentials and password jasper admin and jasper admin so I will just log in here this here is my report different orientation report I will just go ahead and click and see this is how my report looks like so pretty simple in looking and you see here married, common law, divorce, sing, single. And these are all the employees under those particular circumstances. So, so this is how a portrait report is compiled with a simple, uh, simple just orientation change of landscape uh, values of the employees' names. So, pretty simple task to be done. So, I guess I made things clear and. That's it from the video. If you like my video, you can follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at the rate anchor underscore AUG. Or you can see my profile on Facebook. Or also you can find me on LinkedIn. And for more Jasper solutions, you can just log into my blog spot, which is uncoolthetechie.blogspot.in. Or you could G plus me so that you could have track on what videos and articles I am writing new. So thank you for watching. Have a great day.